Welcome back, my Scorpio friends. My name is Shauna, or you can call me Niece Moon Crystal, whatever vibes with you the most. This week, we are talking about January the 13th through the 20th for you guys. So we're going to see what messages come through, what spirit wants to say, and the energy that's going to be going on this week for y'all. So before I begin, I wanted to say thank you for those of you that have signed up for the Facebook group. That helps support all my other stuff, and so I can continue to make videos. So that means a lot to me. I'm also inviting any of you to join us. It's super fun. We're talking about relationships and self-love this week. I do readings and we have discussion dis discussions. So if that's something that you would be interested in, that information is in my description below. I'm also trying to get to 200 subscribers and when I do, I'm going to do a live Instagram reading for everyone. Um, so if that's something that would be, you know, you're interested in as well, then please share my videos with someone that you would think would enjoy them. I also have a weekly newsletter um, that is weekly forecast, inspiration, updates, things like that. Um, that information is below as well. And then I've changed up my reading some as well and made them a little more affordable. Or I've added some options to make them, you know, make them more affordable, um, do some simpler things. And I'm doing some things that... Um, you know, that I enjoy more. So anyway, if you're interested in any of that, that is in my description below. You can check that out. You can always message me. Um, you know, I have that contact information. I'm not sure what that was, but it was outside. So we're just going to, we're rolling with it, y'all. All right, Scorpio, let's see what messages are coming through for y'all, what you need to hear this week. Let's see. What is going on for Scorpio this week? What messages, what news is going on for Scorpio? All right, we're going to cut them and see what's going on. All right, let's get started. All right, let's flip these babies over and see what your week's like. So these are collective readings. So take what, you know, resonates with you and then leave everything else. Not everything is for everyone. And that's because it is a collective reading. <clears throat> All right. So let me take a look really quick as well. Um, so we have had, uh, with what's going on collectively with all signs, there's a lot to do with communication. Um, it's going to be a big factor in the last two weeks of January for us is how we communicate with people. Um, I feel like this is just a lesson that we're all going through is that we're speaking our truth and things like that now. Um, so you look like, okay, this week you're really working diligently on something and it may be with someone else or this is just you at work um, or on this project here and you're um, putting time and energy into this. Uh, you're not quite seeing this huge reward yet, but you feel confident that, you know, this is going to move forward. I feel, though, that somebody is going to say something to you, um, you know, kind of criticize your work almost, um, like I said, this could be at a job that you're working for. This could be a project that you're working on, something like that. I feel someone's going to um, be brazen and kind of speak up and say something like, oh, no, you shouldn't do it that way. Or, no, I don't quite like the way that you're doing that. So that's kind of the issue and, you know, the message that's coming through for you this week, Scorpio. Um, that you are, you know, really proud of what you're doing and really dedicated. And then this person comes in and it really, I feel like, is going to throw you kind of off your game. So this leads to the possibility of you you know, kind of starting fresh and starting new. So maybe you've been in a job for a while and you just feel underappreciated and you're like, you know what, I have the option to leave and you're just feeling more open about, you know, taking that and leaving. Um, I'm also seeing this has been an 
an issue for y'all for a little, oh, wrong way. <laughs> this has been something that you've been anxious about for a little while as well. It's keeping you up at night. Um, it's on your, it's in your head a lot right now. So I do, I feel like this is connected to work or finances and, you know, people just aren't appreciating you and you're really actually working very hard in this situation. So you're thinking about um, starting something new, you know, going down a new path, getting a new job, doing your own thing this week. And that's, once again, 2020 is bringing all that out of us. Here we go. We have a new passion. We have something that we're really excited about starting. And you may have been thinking about this for a long time. You've been um, wanting to do your own thing or go somewhere else. You just haven't, you know, felt that you had the strength to do this. Well, this week, it seems like you do. This is going to push you towards doing something new. This is going to give you all the energy and positive vibes that you need to make this transition if you're trying to move forward with something. Let's pull on the sun as well. So once again, this can be work, business related, health, those kind of things, um, a hobby. But somebody's going to say something to you. It's going to really get you to where you're like, you know what? I'm done with people saying things. Um, I, it's time for me to make a decision on what I need to do to better myself. So this really sends you on a mission here. You're going to be passionate about moving forward, about going this, you know, on this new mission here. Um, it does seem like this is overwhelming, of course. It's always overwhelming making these decisions about moving forward and, you know, those sort of things. But I feel that you're also going to make a connection with somebody and maybe they're going to help you make this decision to move forward. Um, I kind of feel like this is going to be an earth sign person. This person is going to help you grow this idea and um, help you put it together um, and I do kind of feel like this is a project that you're passionate about personally. I'm seeing emotion, I'm seeing passion, and I feel that this is something that you're going to try to pursue um, yourself, but you're getting this um, third-party validation, you're getting this other person that comes in and really helps support you um, in this time. It does kind of leave you feeling like, okay, I don't know where to go at this point. But overall, I think there's so much anxiety that is going on with this other situation that you're going to switch it up and be able to feel that, okay, I don't need to be putting my energy into something that isn't serving me, isn't giving back to me, where I'm putting in more than I'm getting back, and I'm not being respected about the situation either. I'm going to draw on this uh, Seven of Cups. Yeah, and there's something sneaky going on with this situation too. So I feel whatever it is, you're going to find out about, you're going to find out some stuff that appeared one way and then ended up another. Um, somebody is being not truthful here. They're being secretive. They're hiding something from you. And I feel that you're going to learn all of that this week. And that's really what's going to drive you into wanting to do something on your own. Uh, like I said, you've put your energy and stuff into this so much that you found yourself, you're not getting anything in return from this situation anymore. But I do feel that you're going to meet somebody. And this can even be a love interest that comes through for you. This could be someone that you're connecting with. We're having connections with people while we're sharing um, more intimate details um, at the end of this month here. So we're connecting people with people on a deeper level. And so this may even turn into a love interest, this person that's helping support you because you're sharing your emotions and how you feel with this person. Um, I also feel like there's going to be a time of, for celebration this week. You're going to go out, have fun, have drinks. You're going to be having fun by the end of the week, even though I feel at the beginning of the week we're looking at some, you know, news that you didn't really want to hear. It's all for, the, you know, your highest good to move you along into what you want to do, into your desires here. You do kind of end the week um, still making sure that you're wondering what the best thing to do is. You know, as advice here, it's really showing that you are putting in a lot and not getting anything out of it. So if that is the situation, I would listen to this person also. They're there to nurture and support you. This other person that's um, showing up in your reading, 
they're there to help you out and to move you forward in this. So you could really listen to their advice, but always meditate, ground yourself, make sure you're asking your guides, going within and, you know, finding out what resonates with you. That's the most important thing. So my Scorpio friends, if this reading resonated with you, I would love it if you would hit subscribe and notify. And as always, I wish you a super blessed week. Thank you so much for watching.